With a 2-6 and six record, CSUB was looking to get a win against the University of Pacific Tigers in their last game before heading into conference. And look at that, in the 16th minute of the game, CSUB forward senior Claire Nelson scored her first goal of the season. 16 minutes later, the Tigers responded with a goal of their own off a free kick made by Isabella Pariente. Second period, back and forth over the ball. Neither team gets close to the goal, but plenty of shots tried. End of second period, and CUCB and the Tigers are tied 1-1. One one. And just like that, CUCB is heading into overtime. In the first overtime, the game is flat for both teams. So, into the second overtime we go. In the 108th minute of the game, Nelson hit the final nail in the coffin and scored the game-winning goal. Ari had set me up really well. I had a few opportunities, so I was just kind of waiting for the right one and to take advantage of it and finish it. It just gives us confidence going into conference, knowing that, that, that we're as good as everybody else in the league, you know, and what we need to do is just focus on ourselves, keep, keep fine-tuning the things that we're good at, and, um, and just give it all out, because when this team plays with heart and with passion and with energy, uh, we're pretty good. And runners, just an update, CSUB won their first conference game 5-2 against Chicago State University and lost their second game 0-4 against the University of Missouri, Kansas City. Their next game is back here at home on Friday, October 5th at 7 p.m. against Seattle University. For Runner News Network, I'm Natalie Rodriguez.